Hi, I'm Samantha Kendall from SK First Aid Training. What I'm going to do today is just demonstrate about automatic injector pens, purely for the reason of it's been quite massive in the media at the moment, regards the unfortunate sad situations um, of people having anaphylactic reactions and unfortunately passing away. So what I want to do is just demonstrate how easy these pens are to use. Um, if you do come across someone that is having a severe allergic reaction, you ring 999. These pens that we have, they're not treatment. All these do is buy that person a little bit more time. And it's really imperative that if you yourself have an allergy and you carry these pens or you know somebody that does, whether you work with them or they're your friend, they need to have two. They wear off. This is not treatment, okay? This just stops the reaction getting any worse, but it will wear off. It's imperative, like I say, that you ring 999. If we're starting to have a reaction and our throat is swelling up, etc., and our breathing is becoming a problem, this needs to be administered. Now, I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of what's happening in the body. I'm basically just wanting to show you and demonstrate how these work. Now, as you can see, I'm holding two different pens. This one here um, is called an EpiPen, the most common one. And this one's called a Jext pen. They both do exactly the same thing. This is the most popular one, so I'll demonstrate this one, but they work the same. So this EpiPen, this one's obviously a training device. Real ones do look pretty much the same as this, but they'll be coming in a little container that you flip the lid and it'll pop out. On a real pen, it will, till, it will give you the information on how to actually administer it. And to do so is you take out the cap. This is now live, ready to go. This end here is the needle, not this end. So keep it up the way it's gone. And on the information, it will tell you where to um, administer it. If I just turn to the side, you will see down the side of your trousers, you have your seam. Where you're aiming to go is mid thigh and forward a little bit. It's not technical. And what you need to do to turn around so you can see is hold it away about 10 centimeters and give it a quick sharp jab and hold it. Hold it in for 10 seconds. That's allowing the medication to get drawn into the body. After the 10 seconds of holding it, let go. And you can see how safe it is now. On a real device, this will happen to hopefully allow the needle to be fully safe and secure. However, please do not do that, just in case it doesn't. What you need to do now is with this area is rub it. Give it a really good firm rub because what you're actually doing is getting the blood circulating into this area, grabbing that medication and sending it around the body. If you've got someone that's pacing up and down and getting really, really agitated, all they're doing is whooshing around all of this allergen in their body and it's gonna make them worse. Sit them down, keep them calm and administer that pen. As soon as you start seeing these reactions starting to occur and get worse again, you get their second pen. You take off the top, I'd go for the other thigh, not to be mean to do it in the same one, and you're gonna administer it in exactly the same way. Hold it in for 10 seconds, let go, and give it a rub. Most people that have these kind of pens uh, will have a medical alert on them. Um, something that will say SOS or a little dagger with a red serpent wrapped around them. Should be some kind of wrist or necklace uh, medical alert, so you are aware that this is the medication that they need to have. The Jex pen I mentioned works exactly the same. Off comes the cap, jab it into their leg, hold it for 10 seconds, the only difference is, is they look slightly different. Hopefully, that's just given you an insight of how easy these pens are to use and how effective they can be. And hopefully, give that person that bit of time that's needed before the ambulance gets to them and hopefully help them. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I will hopefully do a few more of these videos on defibrillators and things like that. So keep watching. Thank you very much. Bye.